tired of paying for AI image generators every month, I've found a totally free alternative that generates super high quality images with consistent characters. Take a look at these images. They are all made from a brand new AI image generator that I have come across. No, I'm not talking about paid options like Leonardo, Midjourney, Ideogram, Dali 3, and others. This tool is 100% free. Plus, you're free to use the images commercially and even earn money from them. Introducing Focus. In this video, I'll walk you through installing Focus on your PC, system requirements, and if your system doesn't meet the criteria, I'll show you how to still use it without installation. Let's dive into how to install Focus. To get started, either search for Focus on Google or click on the link provided in the description, which will direct you to the download page. Scroll down until you find the download section. Now, it's important to note that as of recording this video, Focus is only available for Windows. However, don't worry, I'll provide a solution for other operating systems later in the video. Click on Click Here to Download to start the download process. The file size is approximately 1.8 GB. Once the download is complete, extract the zip file. You'll then see several options. Choose the one you prefer. I'll opt for Run Realistic. Double click on it and the installation process will begin. It will take around 20 minutes to completely install Focus. Once the installation is complete, the interface will appear like this. Now, let's talk about the system requirements for installing Focus. The minimum requirements for Focus include having an NVIDIA graphics card with at least four gigabytes of GPU memory, as well as eight gigabytes of system RAM to ensure smooth operation. It's worth noting that Focus is not compatible with AMD graphics cards, but what if you don't meet these specifications? Not to worry, I've got a solution for you. Simply head to Google and search for Focus Colab, or click on the link provided in the description. You'll be directed to a page where you can click on Connect in the corner. Once connected, hit the play button, then click on Run Anyway. It may take some time, But once it's done, click on the link labeled Running on Public URL. Now, you're all set to use Focus online without needing to install it. Let's test it out with a prompt like Cristiano Ronaldo playing basketball. It might take a moment, but the results are truly remarkable. Now, let's dive into some of the settings. Once you click on Advanced, you'll encounter a variety of options. Firstly, you can choose from presets such as Realistic, Lightning, Anime, and more. Then there's the performance setting. If you select quality, means the images will take longer to generate but will generate super high quality images, while selecting speed ensures faster generation without compromising too much on quality. You'll notice that even with speed, the quality remains impressive. Next up are the aspect ratios, providing you with various options to suit your needs. Following that, you can specify the number of images you want to generate, ranging from one to as many as 32 images with just one prompt. Then comes the output format. Additionally, there's the negative prompt feature, allowing you to specify elements you don't want in your image. There's also a random option. If unchecked, it generates images with the same seed, but when checked, it generates images randomly. Moving on to styles, you have a lot of options to choose from, each offering its own unique style. Lastly, there's the model and advanced settings, providing further customization options for your images. Now, here's the interesting part. If you click on input image, you'll discover a range of cool options. First up is upscale or variation, where you can generate variations of an image similar to mid-journey. Additionally, you can upscale your images by up to 2x their original size. Next is input prompt, where you can create consistent characters, as I'll demonstrate shortly. You'll also find other options like in paint or output, describe, and metadata. Let's revisit image input. Simply drag and drop the image you've generated or upload your own image. Let's try a girl drinking coffee. Let's change the aspect ratio and select two images. Now click on generate. The results are quite similar. For best results, try uploading four images. Additionally, you can experiment with the style feature. Stay tuned for my next upload on how to create AI influencers. In the meantime, check out these videos. Peace.